Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain the 2014 short comedy drama film called Leonard in Slow Motion. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The protagonist of the movie is a middle-aged man named Leonard, who has a unique quality. He exists in slow motion, but lives in a regular speed world. Everything Leonard does is at a slower speed in general, not because he is lazy, but because it is just how he was born. His drowsiness also applies to the things around him. For example, the liquid he touches flows in slow motion, defying all laws of physics. At the beginning of the movie, we see him running to his workplace, in slow motion of course, while the world around him moves normally. At work, his colleagues make fun of how he pours his coffee into a cup. They have worked with him for quite a while, but his unique quality never fails to surprise them. Leonard has a crush on his colleague Cheryl, but has never had the guts to confess it to her. Every time he tries to talk to her, he stutters. Because of that, plus his slowness, Leonard has never been able to utter a word to her. One day, at work, his boss calls him aside and praises him for coming to work early and leaving late, but complains that his productivity is very low because of his quality. To make up for it, he invites Leonard to his kid's birthday party as a performer. Leonard reluctantly accepts the request and performs tricks at his kid's birthday. He bursts a water balloon in slow motion to entertain them. It is clear from the trick that Leonard's power bends the laws of physics. Cheryl, who is also at the party, cheers for him. His boss knows that he likes her and asks him to go start a conversation with her. Leonard confidently approaches Cheryl, but stops when another guy starts talking to her first. This has been a usual thing for Leonard. He is so slow that he is always preceded by others in every aspect of his life. Later that day, he returns home in disappointment. His day gets even worse when his boss calls to inform him that Cheryl is wanted at another one of their offices, so she is moving to Florida within a week. On the bright side, his boss claims that the kids were very happy at his arrival and loved his water balloon trick. Leonard knows that his boss is taking advantage of his uniqueness, but he cannot quit his job because he wouldn't get one somewhere else. At night, while watching the TV, a news report catches Leonard's attention. An energy drink called the Shocks Beverage is being sued for providing people with too much energy so that they go into cardiac arrest. It turns out that a malfunction caused a Chinese herbal stimulant called Chilo to overflow during the production. Till now, a total of nine people have been hospitalized due to cardiac palpitations and dangerously hyperactive heart rate. The advertisement of the drink says that one shot of shocks will provide you with eight consecutive hours of energy. Although the news report asks the people to not consume the beverage distributed within the last week, Leonard gets a brilliant idea. He wants to try the energy drink and see if it will increase his speed and make him like everyone else. However, he cannot find the energy drink in stores as they have all been told to throw them away because of the health reasons. So, the next morning, Leonard brings his friend to every dumpster in the town, looking for a pack of shocks that the shops have discarded. After searching for hours, he finally finds a carton full of the drink in a garbage bin behind a convenience store. In the following scene, we see him chug down several bottles of the energy drink, hoping it will make him normal. Lo and behold, the drink works, and Leonard can perform activities at a normal speed now. He speaks for the first time in the movie and says, this is amazing. He then throws punches in the air, fascinated by his own speed. Tying his shoelace is an enjoyable task for him that morning. Even pouring himself a cup of coffee, which doesn't take forever to fill the cup, makes Leonard's day. He puts more effort than usual to run to work that day, excited to do whatever he couldn't when he was slow. Leonard first tells his boss that he is quitting the job, he then runs to Cheryl, who is in a meeting in the boardroom. Leonard excitedly barges in, disrupting the meeting, and says that he wants to ask her a question. Cheryl and the rest of the room anticipate the question, but it never comes. As at that moment, the effects of the energy drink wear off. 
Cheryl asks him if he is okay, to which he embarrassingly and slowly replies that he is fine. All of a sudden, Leonard's stomach starts to grumble. The amount of energy drinks he had yesterday is finally making him sick. When no one expects it, he projectile vomits through the room. His co-workers, including Cheryl, watch in disgust as the vomit slowly falls all over the desk. Even his vomit doesn't follow the rules of gravity. Everyone then gets out of the room, leaving an embarrassed Leonard alone. His boss comes in after a while and asks him to clean up the mess before leaving the job forever. In the following scene, Leonard walks into an old age home where he has gotten a new job to take care of old people. The job is perfect for him as the people there are as slow as him, which makes him feel included and normal. He is way happier there than he was at his previous workplace. Leonard also writes a letter to Cheryl, apologizing for ruining her meeting and asking her to visit the old age home, as it is pretty close to the Florida office that she has transferred to. In the last scene, Leonard is in a swimming pool where Cheryl joins him, indicating that they have finally started dating. The fans have called Leonard in Slow Motion a movie that is ahead of its time because of its bizarre yet thoughtful concept and excellent execution. Although it is only seven minutes long, it leaves an impression on every viewer. Some fans have speculated several theories on what Leonard's uniqueness denotes in real life. They believe that it is meant to signify how people, especially youngsters, feel like their life is going slower than their friends and family. They are always comparing their achievements to others, not realizing that they all have their own uniqueness, just as Leonard did. All of them are going at their own pace and will eventually achieve the things they want to. If they try taking shortcuts to life, they might also end up vomiting all over their workplace. I have another theory. Man is too nervous to ask girl out, so man drinks a lot and then throws up in front of her. This sounds just like high school. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.